Hello. Hello, my friends. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Let's move this a little bit. How is all one of you doing? Three. There we go. We're getting a few more. On. Hello. Okie dokie. It has been a crazy day for me. Then again, every day is crazy for me. Every day. All right. How's everybody doing? Hi, Erica. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. So sweet. You always make my day. Hi, Debbie. Okay. So I'm not going to waste any time. You know what we're here for. Hello, Debbie McGee. Two Debbies. Hi, Dreaming Moon. I love that name. I love it. All right. You guys know the drill. We're going with the angel deck today. Um, the uh, guardian angel deck. So we've got one, two, or three. And then the special, hi Dawn, the special uh, number or letter that we're drawing for today is uh, T, letter T. So if you have T in your first or last name or uh, your, you know, the person that you're seeking guidance on, uh, the situation you're seeking guidance on has anything to do with the initial T, feel free to use that for, for this reading. Otherwise, please pick one, two, or three, and be sure to put it in the comments what you're picking. Go with the very first thing, the very first number that comes to your mind, okay? Use that intuition. One, two, three. I'm looking to see if we have any T's. Hi, Jessica. We got a Tiffany, Tiffany. We are drawings for teas today. Hello, beautiful Barb. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Lori. Oh, you're so beautiful and sweet. Hi, Bill. Hi, Susan. I love seeing everybody. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Let's see what you're picking. Lots of threes. Okay, Tiffany, you don't have to pick today unless you just feel like you want to because um, we are every, every Wednesday we draw a particular card or set of cards just for a certain initial individual. Um, and so this week is the letter T. Hello, Cindy. Um, so if, if you have you know a T in your name, hi, Terry then you don't have to worry about um, a T initial, so first or last. Then you don't have to worry about picking a number because I have special cards just for you. Hello, everybody. Oh, I love it. I just, it makes me so happy when I get on here. This is my happy place. Okay, so while others are hopping on here and, and putting in their letter or their numbers, um, we will go over some event stuff. You got a tea, Heather? That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm excited to see you too, Cindy. Cindy is attending the, um, Wine and Spirits event that's going to be held here at my house. It's 10 people or less. It's $100 per person. And it's going to be a really awesome night. Um, we have completely sold out of that event, uh, but I am getting ready to post another one really soon. So um, get ready for that. Decatur is this weekend completely sold out, but we are working on uh, another Springfield, Illinois event as we speak. That's why I was late getting on here. Because I was talking to uh, event venues, trying to find a, a good place to do an event in that area. Moberly, Missouri is coming up uh, June 10th. If you are in the Moberly area, Columbia area, I highly recommend that you attend this event. Um, it's in the beautiful 4th Street Theater and um, 
I just, I have the feeling the energy is going to be amazing at this event. So if you haven't gotten your tickets yet to attend a Moberly event, please do. Uh, Chilla Coffee, we still have uh, tickets for that one, and that is June 24th. Um, let's see, I'm looking through my book with all my events in here. I One thing I haven't talked to you guys about um, is I, I have a psychic uh, and mediumship class coming up at the end of July. So many people ask me, how do I... Um, how do I get, how do I work with you or how do I use my abilities that I know that I have? And a psychic class is the first place to start. So if you're interested in that, um, I highly suggest doing that. The July 8th event uh, for here in Hannibal is almost sold out. I think there's one ticket left for that one. Um, so yeah, we're getting there guys. Okay. Nope, I don't need a new crystal bottle. I still got the one I have and I only hand wash it, Cindy. So I am good there. I am planning on coming back to Springfield, Kelly. I love Springfield. I look forward to seeing you too, Deb. All right. Yes, I'm excited about that Mobile event. Okay. Okay. So if you haven't already, one, two, or three. Okay. Make sure you pick one, two, or three and put it in the comments. Um, a, my mediumship apprentice mediumship apprenticeship that's on your site is it your no um that's not the one-on-one -on -one. this is actually a class dreaming moon this is a class um you have to take the, my psychic class before you can take my mediumship class but they are on the same weekend so psychic is on saturday uh, mediumship is on sunday and uh you know I, i'll have a lot of people come and just take the psychic or just take the mediumship depending on where they're at uh, in their educational journey but um I, I absolutely love being able to teach uh, classes versus one-on-one, -on -one, A, because it's cheaper for you, but B, because you guys get that interaction and you get instant gratification on uh, whether or not you do have the ability. So everybody is psychic. I do believe that mediums are born, though, and there's a big difference. Okay. All right, let's do this. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Adrian. Ah. Okay. All right, here we go. So card number one, if you picked number one, you got the eight of abundance. Everybody loves seeing abundance, don't they? So this card is all about taking, taking uh, a step back and looking at what your dreams are, what you really, really want to accomplish. You know, a lot of people think that um, especially the young ones, they think that they're going to come out of high school and know exactly what they want to do. And for so many of us, that's just not the case. We don't find our true selves or our true purpose until much later in life. I was 27. So, um, you know, 27 is still a baby to, to figure out what you're going to do. So um, if you're getting this aid of abundance and you're sitting with yourself and you're thinking, oh my gosh, I am way too old to go back to school or I'm, I'm way too old to start a new adventure. Lie, you're not. And um, you, your guides are, are working with you right now, you know, just by being on here to make you realize that there is something better for you. There's something uh, out there that you are supposed to be doing that's going to set your soul on fire. And it's not always going back to school. Sometimes it's just taking a seminar um, or just educating yourself on uh, subjects that fascinate you. This doesn't have to be something that you're going to do for the rest of your life necessarily. Um, but you want to monitor your thoughts and um, your feelings when it comes to um, when you think about when you think about something that excites you, so for me it was psychic science, uh, I would I would be looking at certain things, you know, like um, I look at the clock and it would be 444 all the time. I would look at uh, a license plate and it would be like 111. And in that very moment, I was thinking about doing something with a psychic career. My I see redness starting here. That usually means that spirit is coming through and I can feel it already. Um, but anyways, not to get off topic, Matthew would say squirrel. Um, you, the key to uh, success is finding out what your purpose is. Once you figure out what your purpose is, then you will be successful. But until you figure out what your purpose is and what it is that ignites your soul, sets your soul on fire, you're going to always struggle successfully. So, um, at least personally, at least for personal success. 
So consider maybe this is a time for change. It may be. Um, you know, consider taking a, a, a little class, um, a seminar, go to, um, you know, go to a career uh, center, see if maybe there's something there that trips your trigger if it's, if it's not as deep as what I'm talking about. But I really think that uh, card number one holders, it's time for you to um, either step up higher, you know, to like a second level of what you're already doing get into a little, get in a little deeper or maybe change tracks. Okay. All right. Card number two. Oh, good. Okay. I love that. Good for you, Brittany. Okay. Um, card number two, you guys got what's called a major arcana card. There are only 21 of those cards, major arcana cards in the deck. So it's a pretty big deal when you get that you got number 15, which is called Choose Freedom, okay? This card is all about deciding that um, I'm not going to allow the situation that I'm in to entrap me. I am not blocked. What I need to do, because this is just an illusion, and a lot of people think that. They, they get into a situation where they assume that um, there's no possible way out. We, we sabotage ourselves, and this card is here to tell you there is more than one option. You know, there's more than one solution to this situation, and it is time for you to put your freedom first. Okay, so uh, whether you're choosing freedom from, you know, a, a certain partnership or you're choosing freedom from uh, a situation, whether that be a job, um, a friendship that's toxic, you know, any of those things, even <laughs> I had someone get this card one time. And they were trying to decide if they should buy a new car. And to them, that's all they needed to hear was the freedom. They just needed, you know, the, this car was going to give them that freedom. So, um, you know, don't, what you, where you focus is where your energy flows. And if so, if you're, con if you're constantly focused on the negative uh, outcome of a situation, you're only going to see that, right? And this card is here to tell you there are several different options here, several different ways for you to go. Step back and think, pray on it, meditate on it. One way or another, you're going to figure out that um, there's a better path. There's a path to, to uh, solving this situation, this issue. Okay. Also, for number twos, if you uh, see the number 15, if the 15th is important, um, that could come into play here. And I don't know where, you never know where those numbers are gonna you know, pop back up as far as importance goes, but that was number 15 in the Major Arcana, so the 15th is probably going to be important to you, okay? 15 days, 15 weeks, 15 months, that type of thing too. Okay, so if you are number three, um, you got the Messenger of Emotion. And I love when my friends and family get this card because it's all about a new journey. And it's a journey um, that is deep. It's emotional. It usually has to do with love, but not always. Sometimes it could just have to do with, um, you know, being invited to a certain situation, you know, whether it be a wedding or a baby shower and finding a long time, uh, long lost friend there or finding a new friend, someone that you desperately needed to come into your life. At the end of the day, this is all about a deeper uh, relationship where you can express your feelings and uh, really begin to develop a new level of yourself with this relationship, okay? So keep that in mind. Something is coming for you if it's not already, and uh, it's going to get deep. If it's not deep yet, it will begin to get deeper, okay? All right. I need a drink. That card also brings out um, artistic ability as well. So if you're artistic or if the person you're talking to may be artistic, keep that in mind. Sometimes uh, shy and sensitive people can relate to um, the messenger of emotion as well. So keep that in mind. Okay. Hi, Dana. Absolutely. We can do that. Okay. So if you are initial T... You have special cards today, and let's see, I saw some T's on here. I saw Terry, and I saw one other, I thought. But anyways, if you're a T, I got your cards. I got your cards right here. Okay, so first, you T's, you got the two 
of thought, which is all about needing to move forward. This card um, basically expresses w once again, kind of like the other card, uh, but not, but um, a little, a little. We weigh a little bit more on the decisions. Um, there are multiple decisions, not multiple ways out, like the mess, uh, choose freedom. This one, the two of thought, is all about reviewing uh, choices. You have multiple choices, multiple options, and you just can't seem to pick a, a, or make a decision. No matter what you do, you can't make the decision. And sometimes I see a lot of people who get two of thought. Um, that's what the name of the card is, two of thought. Uh, I see a lot of people who get this who... Um, <laughs> Once again, we're going back to sabotage. Hey, Tammy, hello, good afternoon. I, I'm reading cards for letter T's. I see that you just popped on, so pay attention to this message. The two of thought is all about noticing that you are not moving forward. Your angels and your guides want you to be aware of the fact that they see this. This is more than just uh, a minor issue. and It's something big, and they want to get your attention in this way, so that's why you got that card. The thing that... Um, a lot of people don't understand is that uh, we we like to when our mind has to make a decision especially multiple decisions so you know we got two or three or four different things going on here what we like to do is um, procrastinate we like to put it in the back of our mind and pretend that it's not happening and just move forward until it bubbles over and then we absolutely have to make a decision so sometimes this this card will come about when your guides are trying to warn you that you need to go ahead and make that decision now, okay? Don't wait. Quit procrastinating. Ask your angels for signs. Uh, ask them which direction you should take if you're confused on uh, what exactly to do. But chances are, deep down, you already know what you need to do. You know what, what decision you need to make. I feel strongly about that for you. I did pull uh, an uh, extra card for the two of thought for the letter T's um, just for clarification. And this was the card and it speaks volumes. So you are being asked to compromise uh, letter T's. So keep that in mind. Sometimes we need to hear that. Sometimes we need that push. Compromise uh, isn't easy for humans. You know, we naturally want to do what's best for us. And um, so compromise can sometimes be icky and hard to deal with, but in this situation, you need to compromise. Okay. Oh, so good, I'm so happy, Sarah. Yep, I get it, I get it. And you probably did make the right one. So happy for you. Yes, Cindy, freedom from guilt about Corey, absolutely. You know, I don't think there's a single mother on here who has lost a child, grown or young, that would disagree with um, the uh, the guilt that comes with, with losing a child. But um, yes, you are absolutely right. It is, it is time for you to get some freedom from that. It's a relief. You know, sometimes I like to look at things in the physical form. So when we lose somebody, uh, we tend to just focus on the emotional side of things. But if we look at it like it's a scab, okay, the person has died, they've passed, uh, they're still with us all the time, just in a different form, and that different form is what's hard to get used to. But if we look at this as, uh, you know, they're passing as a scab, instead of allowing that scab to heal so that we can get towards, uh, you know, move forward with the next part of our relationship with that person because you still continue to have a relationship with them even though they're on the other side. If we look at it like that, like we need to let this, um, this, this owie heal so that we can move forward instead of continuously picking it and, and having it bleed. And I use my, uh, I use the scab Thing a lot of times when I'm uh, the analogy, but it makes so much sense. You know, every time you scrape that open, you're allowing infection to set in. You're allowing so much negativity to come in every time you scratch that surface. If you just allow it to heal, then more than likely, because a lot of people are scared of healing, they think if I heal, then I'm going to forget them. Oh my God, that's impossible. You will never ever forget them. But the cool thing about a scab is a lot of times it leaves a scar, especially if you keep picking at it. So with that scar there, it was a reminder that you're never ever gonna forget them. You're just no longer gonna live with the guilt. Okay, and I know that is easier said than done. Nobody's pushing you, uh, but it's just a different way to look at it. 
something that I've learned. Okay, I am going to hop off here and go get my babies. I had the best time hanging out with you guys. Like I said, we are going to put up another Springfield event. I am in the process of, um, of setting that up right now. There's a place called Route Route 66, Hotel 66, something like that. And they really look like they kind of jive with my style. And so I think that uh, we may give them a try for the next Springfield event. And uh, the in-home uh, wine and spirit, I'm getting ready to put up another one of those events. The last one sold out super fast, so I'm very grateful for that. All right, you guys, you have a blessed day. I love you so much. Namaste. Have a good one. Bye-bye.